Todd never complains, right? Right. Right. That's why we always give him a couple of minutes to complain about something. You're quasi-evil. You're semi-evil. You're the margarine of evil. You're the Diet Coke of evil. Just one calorie, not evil enough. Hey look, he can't always be happy. It's time for Todd's Daily Complaint. Flow Rider, maybe? No? No Flow Rider? One Republic? Carrie Underwood? Florida Georgia line? Somebody said Foo Fighters, and sir, while I am a fan of Foo Fighters, um, let's try, let's try to to think of what's popular right now. To get into this millennium. Yeah. I mean, listen, I'd love for Pearl Jam to play. Right. They don't really fit. So over the weekend, I went to the Fat People store and bought some new clothing and uh, had some t-shirts on sale. And Zach, you know this from being a former fatty. When you go to the Fat People store... I think I'm store, still pretty current. No, you're former. You're, uh, you're a low-level fatty now at best. When you go to the Fat People store, the clothes are not cheap. Correct? Yep. Yep. I know all about it. So when I saw a special... The big and tall department is yeah. also... Uh, it, it speaks not just to the clothes. Right. Your wallet also has to be big and tall. Mm-hmm. So when I saw a special on t-shirts, perfect. I love t-shirts. This is a job where we're fortunate enough to dress pretty casually, right? Speak for yourself. I mean, look at <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, Suit and tie every day. Usually you look like trash. Today you do have a collared shirt on. Well done. Trash? I resent that <laughs> comment. <laughs> I'm kidding. My hoodies are out of this world. So I was excited. I saw t-shirts on sale, and I bought me a couple t-shirts, and then I got home and realized the pocket tee. What the hell do people use this pocket for? Because you know what I use it for? Catching crumbs. That's what I that's, use it for. That's not a bad use. If I mow the yard in it, it catches grass. I got one that I wore while I was cutting down some trees. And no matter how many times I wash it or try to turn it inside out, there's little pieces of tree bark inside my collar and it's ruined or inside my pocket and it's ruined forever. Here's an idea. What do you put in there? the shirt. What do you put in here? Anything. No, you can't put anything in there. You're going to carry your wallet around at nipple level? No. Sure. You put it in your pocket, in your pants. Phone, pen. You don't put your phone in your shirt pocket. Phone, pen. The only thing that would ever uh, go in here is like a soft pack headphones. of Marlboro Lights. Oh, there you in go. In 1985 called, and that's not cool anymore. Well, then why do you buy the shirt? It was on sale. Okay. But it doesn't need to have a maybe, pocket. Maybe that- I probably paid extra for this useless pocket. Wait a minute. Maybe that's why other people buy that shirt, that kind of shirt price. I hate to be all Seinfeld here, but what's the deal with useless pockets? Suit jackets have them too over on the side. Looks like a pocket, but it's not. The hell's the well, point? that's not a pocket. What is it? They use those. You're talking about in jackets? Yes. They use those for wind. Like if you are skiing. That, that no, lets, no, no, a suit jacket. Oh, a suit jacket. Those pockets, those faux pockets on the side. Oh, you cut it. You might you, be no, able to no. shimmy like a no, pinky the, finger into no, it. No, they start like that. You're supposed to cut those. They, they are, they are bought. No, Todd, they, those, those pockets are there. They're sewn together. You, yeah. Can, why? It's not the, a pocket. You're supposed to cut it apart. I don't want to have to go home. It's not an arts and crafts no, project. You it's no, a suit. You don't want. To have, and most people don't. I don't. I leave them sewn in. But some people will cut those open. So do I. I leave them sewn in too. You know why? Because if I cut them, I cut the material, I ruin the suit. I just wasted. But that's why. Bucks. That's why they don't want pockets to be unsewn on the outside because it could it, it could make up over time losing you know you uh, looking bad, looking wrinkled, looking you know just kind of baggy. The po- the pocket itself. Two so they pockets. Sew it together. One on either side of the pant leg. On the sides, back pockets if it's jeans or slacks, you don't need any more damn pockets. Sure you can. And for that matter, why the hell do I need 23 pockets on a pair of cargo shorts? Are they comfortable? Yes. 
I don't need that one little tiny pocket to shimmy in my Swiss Army knife. I'm not doing any outdoor survival. Okay. We're getting out of hand with pockets. Have you seen these women's I'm shirts? Getting out of hand. They've got that pockets. one tiny pocket that you could like barely put a finger in. What is that for? My thing with uh, my thing with uh, w women holding things. Um, your purse. This is off topic a little bit, but it's a pocket. Your little clutches, ladies. If they're not big enough for you to fit your own damn keys in. It's too small, okay? It's too small. I know it's a fashion statement for you to go with that little clutch. I get it. If you can't pick, uh, if you can't put your keys in there, it's too small. You look like you're a mini me, and I know that's the goal. But we don't need that. Just don't carry anything. You're gonna be that small. Look at it. how shoddily made the inside of this pocket is. It's got like a flap. That's of material. what you paid for. No, I paid for the shirt. I didn't pay for the pocket. I don't want the pocket. It should be optional. Then if you could have bought, I'm sure you could have bought a pocketless shirt. No, they didn't have them. They weren't on sale. Well, well exactly. You got what Why you paid Why is it for. less for the pocket shirt? It takes more material to put the pocket on. Less demand. It's supply and demand. It's economics. It's simple economics talk. But why would you charge less for something less that takes demand. more material? Less demand. How about this? How about make the thing that there's more demand for and costs more, and you'll make more money? Because it's not a fashion statement. You, sir, are not a glowing definition of fashion. I know. But the people who And this shirt is not a glowing definition of usefulness, because I got this pocket hanging oh, out I by my left boob now. I disagree. Now. I disagree. It can be useful that if you want it to It does nothing but catch crumbs. No, it That's does all nothing. That's all it does. It does nothing for you but catch crumbs. You can have it. There's many different purposes for that pocket. I will never, ever use this pocket to store anything on purpose. Well, that's, that's, a lot. that's your loss. And nobody uses this pocket on a t-shirt to store anything. They're pointless. It's your loss. Stephanie on Twitter. I'm dying laughing at the daily complaint. I argue the same point with my husband. He loves pocket tees. Hashtag pocket tees suck. Can we See, get that trending? Wait a minute. Your pocket tees suck. Your husband, uh, one person's husband, Todd, enjoys the pocket. See? They're not useless. He just doesn't get it. And Stephanie does. His wife does. And bravo to you, Stephanie. You get it. He doesn't. Sounds like divorce material. Also, Jared Harris says, I'm so uncultured with my suits. I've owned one suit in my life. And I bought it. I bought it because, uh, correction, two suits. I bought one for my senior prom. It was uh, canary yellow, and I wore it once. And then I bought one for working for Westwood One Radio at the NCAA tournament. I had to have a suit and tie to work for them. Wait so I went and bought a, a suit. So you bought... A suit that had to have cost more than whatever well, I didn't you. Buy it. My parents bought it for me. Than whatever you were getting for yeah. working mm -hmm. that what that thing for us. Oh yeah, work. I didn't get anything. I worked for free. I got a press pass. <laughs> I basically paid to sit courtside by getting a suit. That's right. I paid with a suit. And then you had to work. I wore that suit three times. I wore it twice at the NCAA tournament and once at a funeral. And that's it. My goal in life is to never have to wear a suit. How's that working out for you? It's working out pretty well. Monetarily, I figured out that the suit wearers make a little more than I do, but you know. <laughs> See, that <laughs> doesn't mean I want to wear a suit. That, Todd, is why I come to work all dressed up every day. Oh, see, Joe also on Twitter. Great point. The pocket on a t shirt. Is bad, but the pocket on a polo shirt is even worse. Well, what am I doing here? This is what I'm interested in. Sucking at radio. But that's what you do here every But on day. top of that, <laughs> the pocket on a women's t-shirt. Now, that's a good look. That. No, it's not, because yes, they all have is. these little Todd, tiny pockets. Todd, just the one pocket like you have, one pocket on the breast. Mm -mm. That's a good look. Nope. Yes, it is. That's more material covering the goods. Doesn't need to be there. It's a good look. Okay, good look. 
That- Meanwhile, if you want to know what I had for dinner last night, just check the pocket of my T-shirt. That's gross. You'll see like some fried chicken in there. That's or like the last couple nights. Yeah, exactly. It's what a- is that? Pepperoni? When did I have pizza? Oh, that's right. I got that hot and ready two nights ago. Wonder if it's still good. <laughs> Let's see if I can turn it inside out and get a little taste. I imagine you with like a hot pocket, and like you take a bite, and it comes out the bottom. Oh, just squeezes all that ooze goes out right, into, yeah. right into the pocket. Exactly.